beginning stages of his career and still is able to manage to become the new NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion. Mind you, that, that title is not on the line here this evening. But a plum slot, Mel on the way to becoming the first ever Wild Side Super Indie Championship is well on its way here as match number two continues as Jay Lethal, a man with some incredible and impressive credentials. And I'm not quite sure how familiar these two athletes are together uh, with, with each other. But uh, their backgrounds and the length, length of time they've been involved in this sport of pro wrestling are, are similar indeed. So almost a dream match of sorts for fans of the young high flyers that compete in various promotions throughout the nation. And both Jay Lethal and Jarrell Clark have done so. And Jarrell Clark been very impressive time and time again. And NWA World Ch Junior Championship defenses here in NWA Wildside. Amazing athlete. 630, one of the most amazing moves I've ever witnessed. Jay Lethal, a very accomplished athlete. He's competed in the Ring of Honor promotion. has been very successful there. He's also competed in Jersey All-Pro Wrestling. He's competed in Florida. He's completed for Major League Wrestling. He's, he's really been in, in several different major promotions throughout the country. And Jarrell Clark to sign an NWA TNA contract. So it looks like we'll be seeing the World Junior Champion on Fridays, 3 o'clock p.m., Fox Sports for Impact. And as you see, many Wildside superstars on there, so definitely check that out. That you do, and the most amazing Wildside superstar of, of all time in many people's view, AJ Styles, is of course the mainstay of NWA TNA, and the best thing they got going, and hopefully they'll realize that on a more steady basis. Regardless, enough editorializing here as uh, Jay Lethal Wants to stop Jarrell Clark dead in his tracks here and stopping the momentum of a Mr. 630 and doing a pretty good job of that, too. A strict and, and very intense jockey for position here. But Jarrell Clark does have him wrapped up in his leg scissors. Looks like Jamie Tucker is looking for the submission from Lethal. Jay Lethal. Beautiful escape there with a kip up and landing on his feet. He spent too much time bragging about it. Terrell Clark now has his number shoulder tackle. Down he goes, leapfrog by Lethal. On drag takeover by Terrell Clark and another. Lethal to his feet, beautiful drop kick. The World Junior Heavyweight Champion of the NWA is on fire tonight. And the reason why he's champion is because of moves like that. Being able to second guess your opponent, perhaps taking everything that your opponent brings to the ring and turn it into your own advantage, realizing what your own specialties are and seeing perhaps what perhaps the, uh, where your opponent falls might be falls a little bit short. Now, Jay Lethal's uh, disabilities in the ring, as far as I know, he has very few, if any. But Jarrell Clark obviously knows something about Jay Lethal. We don't know, but Lethal is responding in kind, and it's not good news to the world junior heavyweight champion. Backbreaker, Jay Lethal goes for the cover. Jarrell Clark is up at two and three quarters. Sunset flip. He's got him hooked here. Could be. No. Wow. Boy, big charging drop kick. That leveling Jarrell Clark. Lethal wasting no time with a pin attempt. That didn't bother to hook up a leg. Perhaps they maybe uh, Lethal was realized this, this was not going to be the pin, but it was probably worth a try. Back suplex. Hooks the leg again. As Jarrell Clark did not hook the leg there. He's showing a little bit of arrogance there, and I, I don't know. She might want to be doing that. Gets the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion. And Jarrell Clark's fighting back now. Mr. 630 off the ropes. Knee to the midsection by Lethal, stopping the momentum of Clark and putting the matchup back in his control. Now he hooks the leg. A lot more deliberate cover. Clark still kicked out. I've noticed the tempo of Jay Lethal's attack. It was really slowed down. I well, check that. Just as I say that, there's that beautiful snap suplex and a hook of the leg, perhaps a little, little too little, too, too late for Jay Lethal. Crowd quite obviously behind who NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, Mr. 630, Jarrell Clark. Hopefully be able to take a few cobwebs loose. But the momentum of Jay Lethal at this moment is, is big indeed. 
Jay Lethal, as you're stating, it's, it's a very methodical approach. And Jay Lethal is very famous for being a high flyer, but in this instance, he's seen that that was what Clark was relying on. What a counter by Jarrell Clark. Lethal had the match in his control, firmly in his grasp. And Jarrell Clark, one split second counter. The use of his, his, his very agile legs, spinning him all the way around into the head scissors. What a maneuver. Now both win are down. Well, the score, the score, if you just delay just even a fraction of a second, that gives your opponent all the opportunity he needs. It's now developing into fisticuffs between these two athletes. The leg lariat, there's a Japanese arm drag, and Terrell Clark is on his feet. Mr. 630 found his key point, the turnaround in the match, shifted the momentum, but there's acrobatics in a counter. By Jay Lethal. Catches a foot right off the face. Clark now back. It's lightning quick. It's back and forth. Fireman's carry. There's the burning hammer. And that would definitely, that would seem like it would be it, but uh, Jay Lethal still has some firepower left and a little bit of some resilience. It's tremendous resilience. That maneuver is not a joke. The angle from which you come out of the fireman's carry position and the base of your neck and your head cracking against the canvas with the equilibrium going awry. He kicked out. Now Clark's got a counter. What's this? Power bomb. A power move not expected from Lethal at this moment. Lethal heading up to the top turnbuckle in the northeastern corner of the ring. Did it very quickly. Oh, beautiful swan dive headbutt right on Jarrell Clark. That has got to be it. No! Uh, apparently not. Both of these men want the Super Indy Championship. They want to be, there will only be one this year in 2004. The winner of this tournament will be the Super Indy Champion. Pump handle hook, full rotation into a suplex, beautifully executed by Clark. This could be all. He has him, no! Think there's definitely some more poundage on the part of a Jay Lethal, which is all the more impressive for the powers of Jarrell Clark. Goes for that, that pump handle once more. Second time was a mistake. Release Dragon Suplex. He calls that the lethal injection, and this could be all. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to advance into the finals of Super Unique Challenge. Jay Lethal. The lethal injection and upset in the minds of many Wildside fans.